hello guys welcome to today's video today i'm going to be making a delicious almond cake so to start i have here my hand mixer in my mixing bowl and i have here one third cup of butter so i put this here and i'm going to add sugar one cup of sugar but i need to beat this And then I'm going to add my sugar. And the butter. I have here three egg yolks which I'm going to gradually add you want to make sure you don't over mix your butter yeah. I have here a tablespoon of lemon juice To this mixture, I have here some lemon zest. Most people don't add lemon zest, but I prefer to. It all depends on your personal preference. One ta tablespoon baking soda. One tablespoon baking powder. And that's I'm going to gently mix this all in on really low speed. You don't want to over mix this. If you think your sugar is not enough, you can add more, but I like mine like this. So guys can you see this the creaminess of it okay we are not done yet we are going to add in our almonds we are going to finish the rest with this so i have here about a cup of almonds which i crushed in the rubber okay. if you are allergic to almonds you can use coconut instead yeah crushed coconut and we are going to gently mix this Remember guys, we've not added the egg white yet because we are going to mix those separately to get a fluffy cake. Wow, it really smells good. Let me bring this here. Perfect. Now I have my egg white here. To the egg white, I'm going to add a tablespoon of salt to help it. Yeah. On low speed as usual, we are going to taste this so we get a classic consistency. Wow, it's already working. Egg whites here, yeah. I've already added the egg whites here, guys. Sorry, I couldn't show you. My camera actually went off. So I'm going to gradually add the flour. I have here one and a half cups of flour. You can use less. You can use one cup of flour if you want to. And we are going to add this gently at a time. You don't want to deflate your cake. So you go this way, turn, and mix. Wow, it smells really good. 
because of the lemon juice I added and the lemon. Okay, so my oven has been preheating for about 10 minutes now. I have here my baking pan of lard with parchment because I'm going to transfer this here. This is the kind of consistency, not too runny, not too thick. So take notes guys. So this is the final outcome. I'm going to pop this in the oven. Guys, one last tip. Remember that whenever you are filling your pan, you don't have to fill it to, to the brim because your cake is going to rise and it's going to overflow. So always fill it halfway. Yeah. So in goes. Ta da! Thank you, guys. So, guys, this is the final outcome. Thank you, guys, for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.